What's up? My name is Justin. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things EDRM related. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Wanted to make this video because a lot of people want to add just one more sound to their drum set without having to spend freaking $200 on a mesh pad. You just want to add something that doesn't take up a ton of room, but will give you access to, you know, a cowbell sound or a tambourine sound or something crazy like, like a bass drop sound or a reverse crash sound. Those sounds are inside of your drum module, but do you really want to have to take up an entire floor tom or an entire cymbal just to access those sounds? No, you really don't. Basically what you want is an electronic cowbell or something small that will give you access to those sounds that you don't use very often, but they'll still be there at a moment's notice. So that's what this video is all about. I recently got an email asking me, hey Justin, should I buy the Roland BT-1 bar trigger or the, the N-Fused cowbell? And those two products look incredibly different from each other, but they're both trying to accomplish the exact same goal. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is go over a bunch of different products like this electronic cowbell, and then talk about the pros and cons, whether or not they're worth the money, and all that great stuff. So let's start off with the Roland BT-1 bar trigger. This is something that a lot of drummers have been looking into. I'll admit, when I first saw it, I kinda laughed at it. I was like, Roland, why are you selling us a little sliver of a piece of rubber that looks like a banana? You're gonna sell that for $110. But since that product first launched, there's been a lot of drummers that have bought this, a ton of positive reviews, I have played it, some other people I know have played it. So here's the overall advantage of buying this thing. The overall advantage is that it doesn't take up any extra hardware. What it does is it clips onto the rim of your drum. That's it. You don't have to buy anything else. You don't have to buy a mount. You don't have to take up another square inch of your drum rack. It just You can mount like three of them to a drum pad depending on what size of a drum pad you have. So it's very versatile like that. And also you can mount it just like you would a cowbell. In fact, if you saw my video on Ben Barter, the drummer for Lord, he actually uses three of these right above a row of DAWs pads. So they're very versatile. They're one zone, they require a stereo cable. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice product. The price isn't though, it's $110 brand new. I've searched around the archives of eBay and I've seen that it's sold for about $65 in the past and a more average price is around $84. So that's, that's a more reasonable cost for something like this. And yeah, it's definitely a product worth looking into. It's the one product on this list that takes up the least amount of space and no extra hardware required. So that's definitely something in its favor. All right, let's move on to the next one on this list. It's the Enfused Audio Inspire Cowbell. Really long name for this thing, but one of the main advantages of buying this as opposed to the Roland one is that it's got two zones on it. So the edge and the top bow area. I don't even know if you can call the top of a cowbell the bow area, that's like a symbol term. But anyway, it's dual zone. The one thing I do not like about this cowbell is the price. It's 130 bucks and also it's got an eighth inch input that takes a uh, four pole connector. Uh, you can get around this by just buying an adapter, so you're completely fine. But the fact that it's 130 bucks and then you'll have to buy an adapter cable, that kind of hurts. But again, it's probably the nicest electronic cowbell out there on the market. Dual zone, it works nice, and it looks like a cowbell overall, but with like a modern twist on it. So this is definitely another product to look into if you want an electronic cowbell or anything that just doesn't take much space on your drum set. Okay, so the next product up is this Jobeki cowbell. This is not very expensive. Jobeki gave it to me and I did a review on it. If you wanna go see the full review, my full thoughts, um, just go look it up on my channel. It's Jobeki cowbell review. But anyway, this is a real cowbell that basically they drilled a hole into the back of it. They put a cable connector on it. There's a piezo inside. There's some stuffing in here to sort of lower the overall acoustic volume. And then they had a rubber, uh, a little rubber rim right here that you would hit with your stick. So that would also help lower the volume. So this is a nice product to look at and it, you know, in a recording it looks fine. The problem was the durability just wasn't there. First of all, the glue they used wasn't very good. The rim just fell off. And I talked about this in my review. Also, the stuffing just falls out as you're playing it. If it has the input on the bottom, don't buy this because the cable will fall out. And also that connector right there, this input is made of plastic. So yeah, not my favorite product of all time, uh, but if Jobeki fixes it, this could be something very nice. Unfortunately, there aren't a ton of electronic cowbells out there. There's the Enfused one, and then there's this one from Jobeki, and I don't really see anything else when I type in electronic cowbell into Google. There's not many more options, except the next one on this list. This one is called the Cow Patty. To my knowledge, the only place you can buy it is on eBay. If you look it on, up on eBay, there's a guy that makes all these by hand and tests them. There's $60 a piece. There's also a second version where it's basically two of these, so that makes it a dual zone. So this is only a single zone. It's using a quarter inch connector on the side of it, so it's not on the bottom of it, thank goodness. One great thing about this product is that it's double-sided. 
One side is intended for you to play it with sticks, and the other side is to play it if you're into hand percussion. So it's great, it's very versatile like that. It's a simple one zone a cowbell for 60 bucks, plus, uh, what is it, uh, $8.02 in shipping. So definitely worth checking out. The only thing I'm not really a big fan of is this industrial design. It's not the prettiest looking electronic cowbell, but again, it's not $130. So you gotta, you, you gotta weigh the pros and cons of whatever it is you're gonna buy. Okay, so before going on to the last option, let's wrap up the list so far. The first one was that Roland VT1 bar trigger. Its advantage is that it doesn't take up much space. That's its main advantage. And you can clip on multiple ones to each one of your drum shells. So you can just literally max out the inputs on the back of your drum module, no problem with these pads. Right, the second option was that infused cowbell. It's the most expensive one on this list, but it is dual zone. But then again, you have to get an adapter because it won't work with your drum module uh, right out the box because it has an eighth inch input. So again, it's got pros and cons going for it, but it's probably the nicest electronic cowbell out there. The next option is the Joe Becky one. Uh, moving on to the cow patty one. It's a budget option at 60 bucks. It definitely does the job and I like the way it looks, but I don't have any personal experience with that one. And then finally, let's move on to the last idea. What about just buying a rubber pad? Believe it or not, this is the cheapest one on this list because you can buy a cowbell for, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever, but you can buy a rubber pad that's like six inches across that doesn't take up much room. You can buy one of those for $30 on eBay. They're basically free on eBay. You can find them anywhere. If you go to a music store and they've got used electronic drums, sometimes they'll have extra drum pads lying around. They're like $20 a piece. And uh, again, this is, this is a large one. This is a cap percussion 11 inch pad. This one will take up a lot of room. But if you buy a cheap six inch pad from Roland or something, those really aren't that expensive on eBay. And if you wanna buy that and have two zones, depending on what pad you buy, you can buy a cheap six inch pad for $30 and it will do the job. I know this isn't the perfect choice for everybody, but a small rubber pad is incredibly cheap and if you can buy it with the mount for like 30 or $40, that'll be cheaper than everything else on this list. It's just definitely something worth looking into. So that's just my list. Is there anything I missed? Any products that I just don't know about? Let me know down in the comments below. This is just an idea of, you know, different products you can buy to add one or two extra sounds to your drum set without having to buy a giant mesh pad. Anyway, I hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll see you in a few.